Dale's addiction, she is again who is to blame. Because she, on her YouTube channel, comes up with wonderful ideas, she starts fabulous conversations, and often I just have to participate in them. So this video is my take on her video about your luxury mindset. What does that even mean? Stay tuned and find out. Also, I have a little unboxing. I'm gonna save this to the end of the video, so make sure you stick around all the way to the end to see what's in here. It's a designer handbag, and I don't have one quite like it. <laughs> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things that we love. First, scarf of the day. Close up autumn here. This is vintage Gucci. It's some kind of jungle safari kind of print and has a bunch of animals and a bunch of leaves and things, plants, not just leaves, plants. And I love it. I've had it for a long time. It's one of my oldest scarves. There are more animals in here and around there, going back over there now. So Dale's Addiction started this, and she actually got the idea from someone who commented on one of her videos. So of course I will have her video linked below, so you can go check that out and find out what she said, but I'll give you a quick overview here. She talked about her thoughts on setting rules and limitations for yourself when it comes to luxury, be they regarding spending rules or things you allow yourself to buy or not. She discussed minimalism versus excess and abundance, and she ultimately came to a conclusion that is similar to mine, but also different, because we're coming from kind of different perspectives. Here are my thoughts. Dale feels like you shouldn't have limitations and set rules for yourself when it comes to luxury, because it's sort of anti-luxury. That luxury is about excess. It's about abundance. It's about enjoying something you love, and maybe even being frivolous about it. However, Dale, she talks about this in her video as well. She's coming from a more privileged place financially than most people are. Most of us do have to set limitations and rules when it comes to our spending on how much we can spend or how often we can spend on those frivolous luxuries like handbags. You might allow yourself one bag a year for your birthday or for a holiday or for some other special occasion. You may only allow yourself to get a bag if you've achieved a goal as a reward and celebration for that. You may have a cap on what you're willing to spend. It might be a thousand dollars. You're not going to buy any bag that's over a thousand dollars or two thousand or three or whatever it may be for you. You also may have some kind of in place for what you buy. For example, when I started buying handbags, and up until fairly recently, the last year or so, for the most part, if I was buying a luxury bag at those price points, it needed to be something that I knew I was going to have for a long time, like maybe the rest of my life. So it needed to be something that was a classic item that I felt like I wouldn't get sick of and that I felt like would always be in style. I think a lot of people do that, especially when they're not used to spending that kind of money on a handbag. It feels like it brings some practicality to the situation, a sense of being responsible. Dale, if you're familiar with her, is less drawn to the classic bags and more drawn to seasonal pieces. So for her, it wouldn't make as much sense to buy those classic bags because that's not what she loves the most. And if you're one of those people, if you love the seasonal bags, even if you have limitations on your spending, maybe that's the best place to put your money because that's what you love. And I have started getting into that as well. I feel like I have a great foundation of the classic bags and I've been at a point where I'm ready to move on to more unique ones. And I have been doing that. Oh yes, I have. There are more coming. You're gonna see. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. I have some pretty fabulous things coming up actually. Now let's take those rules and limitations that we may have when it comes to luxury handbags. Let's set those aside and let's talk more broadly about the luxury mindset that you have. And I mean, specifically I'm talking about my luxury mindset here, but hopefully this will get you thinking about how you think about luxury as well. My luxury mindset is the same mindset that I have for everything else in life. Just because there are rules and expectations in place doesn't mean you have to follow them. There are a lot of people that came before us that set rules and standards, expectations that became the norms for our current society, or for your culture, or for your family. You don't have to live by other people's standards. Other people made those rules up. 
you can make up your own. Figure out what's best for you and live your own best life. Also note that those societal and cultural and family rules and expectations, they change over time. They're not static. They change based on all kinds of things. Some people cling to them as if they're set in stone, but they're not. Maybe that's all they've ever known, but it doesn't mean that that's how things have always been. Nor does it mean it's how things always will be, nor does it mean it's how things should be. In America, a few hundred years ago, men wore wigs and makeup. Men tend not to do that anymore. And if a guy is walking down the sidewalk with a wig and makeup, in most places, people are gonna think that's unusual. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, it's just not today's standard anymore. That standard has changed. Here's some criticism that I've received based off other people's standards. Women should have kids. I don't want kids, I'm not having them. Women should wear heels. I'm uncomfortable in heels, I'm not wearing them. You should have X, Y, and Z in place financially before you buy expensive handbags. It's my money, I can do what I want with it. You should buy a house, it's a waste of money to rent. I don't wanna buy a house, my only other option is to rent. You have an old car, you should buy a new car instead of buying handbags. I love my old car, it's paid off, it's reliable, it's cute. I'd much rather spend my money on handbags than a car payment. Also, I just don't take money that seriously, although I, actually, believe it or not, am pretty responsible with it. If you're into handbags, you're materialistic. No, that's not what that means. Luxury bags are a waste of money. You can just buy a handbag at Walmart. No, they may be a waste of money for you, but they're not for me. Oh, you have a luxury handbag? You must be trying to look rich or show off. No, I have a luxury handbag because I enjoy it. I didn't buy it for other people. You should really be wearing makeup, especially since you're on YouTube. I don't want to wear makeup. I have no interest at all in it, so I'm not going to wear it, even though I'm on YouTube, except for the powder foundation that I do wear. But I'm not gonna do the whole thing. You know that YouTube look? that a lot of luxury YouTubers have and the and the makeup YouTubers. Not my thing. Not my thing. You really need to buy a new wardrobe. You shouldn't have luxury bags when you look like that. I'm into luxury bags. I'm not into clothes. Only certain brands are luxury, not the ones that you're talking about. No, luxury is however you define it. You don't get to define it for other people. Luxury handbags are only for wealthy people. You are not wealthy. You should not have luxury handbags. No, no, no. Luxury is for everyone. And that last one really sums up my luxury mindset. Luxury is for everyone and it is defined however you define it. If coach is luxury to you, Michael Kors, Kate Spade, then that is your luxury. Enjoy it. If it's not, okay, don't judge other people for it. If luxury is a hot bath in privacy, that's your luxury. Then that's a luxury for you. Nobody gets to tell you that's not luxury. You make your own rules for your own life. You do what's best for you. Ultimately, besides helping you guys find deals and learn more about these bags and the other things we talk about on this channel, that's ultimately what this channel is about and the message that I try to get across is be you. As long as you're not hurting anybody else, be your authentic best self. Don't let other people's ideas of what you should be affect who you are or what you buy or, or any other part of your life. Just be you. All right, let's get to this unboxing. I picked this up from The Real Real. Got it for a fantastic price. Here it is in the dust bag. Open it up, very pretty. I was wondering if it was folded, but it's not. It's just in here sideways. All right, here we go. It is a Longchamp Le Pliage Tote. It is smaller than I thought. They didn't have the size listed. They had dimensions, but who pays attention to those? I'm gonna bring it closer so you can see it better. The Le Pliage Totes that I have, every one of them are nylon. And this one is my first leather bag. It's in black leather. It's pebbled or grained, as you can see. The trim is a smooth leather, it's silver hardware. It said it had some corner wear, and you can definitely see that on those two corners. Not so much on these two. I knew it was gonna be there, but of course they didn't have pictures of it, so I'll just have to be okay with that. Inside, there's the dust bag, and it's lined in the Longchamp fabric with the little ribbon details. There's one zipped pocket on this side, and on the other side, there is one slip pocket and then a smaller slip pocket next to it. And there's also this leather bit with a little clip on the end. On one side at the seam, there's this leather tab that says Longchamp, it has the logo. And behind that is this plastic tab, it says Longchamp Paris, made in France. My guess would be that this is the medium size, 
So here is how that looks, and I think that'll be great. Strap drop is really nice and comfortable as it always is on Longchamp, and it was a fabulous price. It was under $200. I want to say it was maybe around $150. And other than that corner wear, which is pretty normal for Le Pliage bags, why it doesn't really concern me, it looks to be in fantastic shape. You know, I have a Louis Vuitton Neverfull in black epi leather, and I never carry it because the base is pretty stiff. So I was looking for something a little more malleable, softer. This this is going to fit the bill perfectly. And that's my little unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below about your luxury mindset. Basically your philosophy about luxury. What is it and why? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.